In this video, I would like to show you a very nice and elegant solution to a problem from geometry. So as you can see here, we're given three adjacent squares with side equal to some unit lengths. And we're asked to prove that the sum of the angles alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to pi half radians or 90 degrees. And if you try to prove it with Euclidean geometry, it, it is possible. You need to do some clever constructions here, but you know, it requires some work. And it's not that trivial. I mean, you can try, but it's not that simple. And I would like to present here another way to look at the problem uh, that will make this proof quite easy. So we can see right away that alpha is uh, 45 degrees or a uh, uh, quarter of pi right radians. But then it's equivalent to proving that beta plus gamma is... Uh, is pi quarter, which is not that simple. But there is a reason for this alpha here, because the way I'm going to prove this problem is going to show that uh, it's actually more convenient to think about it, it this way. And uh, trying to complete it with uh, trigonometry, like uh, if, we, if we think of this as being 1, and this is 2, right? So it's like proving that arctangents of uh, half plus arctangents of one third is pi quarter. So this will be, this is not considered a proof because you cannot verify it to infinite accuracy, but this will be a corollary from our proof. So let's see how can we think about this problem. So if we'll think of this as being uh, embedded in, in, the, in, in the plane, right? And let's think of this plane as the complex plane. And uh, the reason for the complex numbers will become apparent shortly. Then the coordinate of this point, this point is actually 1 plus i. And this point is actually 2 plus i. And this point is 3 plus i. And we know that when we multiply complex numbers, magic happens. So when we multiply two complex numbers, their arguments uh, are being added. And their magnitudes are being multiplied. But if we think about it this way, then what we need to prove that once we multiply all those three numbers, then the argument of the result will be the sum of the angles alpha plus beta plus gamma on the one hand. And so it's clear from here that it would be enough to show that the product of all those three numbers is a purely imaginary number, right, with a positive imaginary component. So let us try and compute this. So when we take 1 plus i times uh, 2 plus i times 3 plus i, let's see what do we get. So the argument of this number is alpha plus beta plus gamma, as I said, and let's multiply it. So what we get here is 1 times 2 and then minus i squared, which is 1. So it's going to be 1 plus, and then how many i's? 3i and times 3 plus i. Now, actually, we can see from right from here, I'll prove it that this number is going to be purely imaginary, but let's uh, go on with the computation. So um, it's 3 times, uh, 1 times 3 is 3, and minus 3i squared is actually minus 3. That's, that's the real part. And the real part, as we can see here, is 0, and the imaginary part is going to be uh, then we're going to have 10i plus 10i. So as a result, we get 10i, and 10i on the imaginary axis is here, and its argument is by half indeed. Therefore, the argument of 1 plus i times 2 plus i times 3 plus i, it equals to alpha plus beta plus gamma, but it's also equal to the argument of 10i, which is pi half, and therefore this is problem is solved and this is proved. And one nice observation here, just geometrical one, that whenever we multiply a number a plus ib times b plus ia, we are always going to get a purely imaginary number, because as we have seen, it's going to have zero reals, a real part, and the imaginary part is going to be, uh, if we take here 
uh, it's going to be actually a squared plus b squared i, right? But if we would like to see the reason for this, it's the following one. If this is the line y equals x, then, and we take this point to be some point a, b, right? Or it's equivalent of thinking of it as a complex number, then the point b a is a reflection of this point relative to this line, right? It's it's a reflection with the same angle. So say the angle here was alpha, and here the angle was alpha, right? And here we know that this angle is 45 degrees, so it's by quarter minus alpha. <coughs> and sorry, and then when we when we multiply those two numbers, when we multiply a plus ib times b plus ia, then the argument of this, right, is going to be uh, the argument, it's uh, quarter of pi minus alpha, it's the argument of this number, and then the argument of this is actually pi quarter minus alpha plus alpha plus alpha, so it's plus alpha, and as a result we get by half. So the argument of this number is going to be by half, or uh, 90, 90 degrees if you want, and it means that this number is going to be purely imaginary as we saw here, so it's a nice geometrical explanation.